Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video um, I'm going to be reviewing a ferret cage. I guess it's a small animal cage. We'll call it like a ferret. It's, it's actually called, I'm not going to say the name because I will butcher it. I will try to say the name but y'all are going to know this is wrong. I call them ATV, ATVian but that's not correct. Um, the name's across the screen. Basically they sent me a cage to review, um, to put together and to review. So I'm going to do that. I actually think the cage is really cute. It's very like aesthetically pleasing it it's pretty it's prettier than like bars like this one um but you know I don't know I like it it's it's cute but I'm gonna go over the pros and the cons or what I see to be the pros and the cons and then I'm gonna but I'm gonna put it together first and show you guys kind of how I did that they say that with two people the instruction says it takes about 45 minutes I put the cage together by myself um I used my husband's help for to put on the front but aside from that, I did the rest of it alone. And it took me about an hour and a half. I'm kind of long though. So when you get to the parts where you have to hold the sides and screw at the same time, because I'm kind of tall, I was able to do that. If you're a little bit shorter and your arms aren't as long, um, it may be a little bit more difficult. So I think that I just got lucky because I'm taller and I'm able to stretch my body out longer. Um, I'm always the one in the house that has to grab all the stuff from high up. So yeah, story of my life. Um, anyway, I'll show you guys how I put it together, like I said, and then I'll go over the pros and the cons. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's see, let's go, let's start it. Okay, so the box came like this. Um, I haven't opened it yet, but I'm gonna open it now, take all the pieces out and put them upstairs, and then we're going to put it together. So I will say it has a little bit of a pine smell, but I read online that that is normal and that it goes away pretty fast. So that they kind of put a warning about that. So you, I kind of knew to expect that. So I have loaded up, I unloaded all of the pieces. They're all around the room. <laughs> the ferrets are trying to figure out what in the heck is going on. So um, we're gonna see how this, how hard this is to put together. It came with this instruction manual, um, these parts, and then it said to get a screwdriver. So I got a drill and then I got um, a screwdriver too. So we'll see what we need. You want to read some instructions, okay? So all the bags, like the screw parts are labeled, which is kind of good.
You can't come out that way, silly boy. Well, you've reached the top. Oski, can you get out? Can you get out? You can do it. Oh, you're a good boy. You got it? Okay. You can do it. Careful. Good boy. Good job. Okay, so here's the cage finished. I'm gonna start with the pros of the cage first, and then I will go on to the cons. Now, um, I am actually going to, because I know a lot of you know that I sew and I have an Etsy shop selling ferret bedding. I'm going to make a set of liners for this cage, but it's gonna take me a second because I have to pull the shelves out so that I can make a template um, so that it fits correctly. But this is the cage. I, I honestly, like I said, I really like it. I like, first of all, if you have an animal that has accidents, this is probably pretty easy to wipe up. So that's, that's, a, that's a bonus. Um, these little huts are super cute. My ferrets, right now what I do is I have this door open. So there's two of these doors. There's one on each side, um, which is kind of great because my ferrets are not caged. They do not ever get locked in the cage. So they have their own room and I being, they can like enter through here and that's great. They've come and gone in here a couple of times. Um, they don't really sleep in any of the cage, like they don't sleep in their regular cage. So I don't really anticipate finding them asleep in here because they don't often sleep in the cage unless I just change the liners. They will sleep in it for the first couple of days when the liners are fresh. Um, and then after that, they don't. So <laughs> they're, they're bougie. So let's see. Um, so there's those two doors down here. There's these doors, which I kind of like because if you're talking about accessibility for cleaning purposes, this really is pretty accessible. Um, so that's, that's nice. It's, there's nothing worse than having a cage that you can't get to to clean. That's terrible. So between these two doors and the two doors on the bottom, it's definitely easy to clean. And also because the shelving is, um, this is like a, it's wood, but it's, it's a, like a smooth surface. The other thing that I really actually think is cute and I love a lot are these little houses. Um, there's two of them. So I really like those. You know, small animals like to hide. They like to be inside of things. They're just, I don't know, they're cute. My ferrets have gotten on top of it, on the inside of it. They really, really like those. So the other great thing is this tray. There's a tray here. Um, it's plastic and it, it can pull, it just pulls straight out. So if you wanted to clean or you needed to clean the tray or the bottom part, just pull that straight out. Also, it's on wheels. So um, that's great because obviously moving it around is oftentimes convenient. Um, people do like to move their cages. I know I do. Watch out, peanut head. We're down here. <laughs> Let's just take a look. Um, you could fit a litter box in here for sure. Um, so that would be good. I would put a litter box on the bottom if it were me. Um, and my ferrets were going to use this to cage where they were going to be locked in. Um, but I don't have to do that because my ferrets are litter trained. And so they will come out of the cage to go to the bathroom. It's not a problem. So another pro is this bar. If you didn't have this here, you would run the risk that they would just fall off. Um, and they won't, you know, obviously it's not very tall, but come on. They, they're, I mean, the, look, look, here, let me show you. Come here, peanut. Can we show you how this bar works? So, see, he knows that that's there and then he's not going to flip over. So here's the ramps. I'm going to see if he goes down so that you guys can see the incline. Okay, so there are a couple of cons um, that I just want to mention because I feel like I should do a fair review and that I should be honest because it's not beneficial to anyone if I'm not. There are also, um, and there's obviously going to be pros and cons to any cage that you buy, so keep that in mind, please. <laughs> um, the one thing I really kind of didn't love is the ramps. I don't love the ramps. Um, here's why. The ramps are put on here with screws, okay? So you can't take them off and it's kind of steep. Do you see how, like the incline of that? Um, I don't, that's a really kind of a very s steep incline. So the ferrets kind of have to, I don't know, it's, it's steep. Um, also, these screws don't weigh flush. And so it just makes me a little nervous that they're gonna hurt their feet um, if they were to get caught on those screws. That's the, the, I think, I think honestly, you could, 
Um, there's ways to kind of fix that up. There's definitely others. You could purchase your own screws and put something more flat on there. Um, I am going to make liners for this cage that will include ramp covers. So um, I will, I'm going to do a whole separate video on that. Um, I think the only really other con would be you're kind of limited on where you can put hammocks. And I know that that sounds kind of like a minor thing. My ferrets love hammocks, um, but you can put hammocks at the top. So, I mean, you know, and I'm sure that I could make something that where we could put hammocks in other places. The entire cage is wood. It's not a hard wood. It's kind of a soft wood. So when you're screwing in the pieces, you'll notice that um, some of them don't have holes. Like they'll have holes to tell you where the screws go, but they won't have like one part, one of the pieces will have the, the screw holes, but the piece that you're screwing into won't have the screw holes. I did not use an electric drill. I used a hand drill and I mean a hand screwdriver and I was able to put it together and screw through the wood without any issues. So, um, but what I will say and what I was kind of thinking about, and I don't, I don't know because I don't have rats or chinchillas, but if you have an animal that chews wood, you might run into an issue with that. But ferrets, at least my ferrets don't chew wood, so it would not be an issue for ferrets. Um, at least for ferrets that don't chew wood, I don't know very many ferrets that chew wood. If your ferrets chew it on your cage, it's probably because they want to get out and they may not be having enough time out of the cage. So I don't know that they just chew to chew. Most of the time when they're chewing metal or bars or, or to chew to get out of the cage, it's because they're not getting enough time out of the cage most of the time. Um, that may obviously not apply to every single situation. All in all, I really do like the cage. I am going to be making some sort of liners or pads to go in there. Um, I think for some animals, not having a pad down would be fine. My ferrets, or I would prefer they have something soft. They love to sleep on soft things. Um, I'm going to, like I said, measure and cut and create something for the shelves um, so that they're like lined with fleece. And um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. Right now I have two cages in my room. Um, in the ferret room. Obviously this cage was sent to me for the purpose of me reviewing it. Um, I did not pay for it. So just as a disclosure, um, you probably figured that out by now. Um, but I really do. I mean, I do like the cage it has its, it has its, um, cons, but so does the ferret nation, you know? I mean, I don't know if you've ever tried to move one of those or if you've gotten yours and it's not like that's bent weird when you get it you have to like hammer it into place so, like that's how mine was um so i mean all like i said all cages have pros and cons i honestly for the aesthetics of the room i love this i really do i, I love it um there's gonna be a link in the description if you uh would like to purchase this or take a look at it and if you have any like specific questions you want to know um let me know i'm more than happy to answer any questions since i have the cage here and I have the experience of putting it together. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.